Well, good morning, everyone. It's time for Bible Cap. Bible Cap? <laughs> Ball Cap Bible Study. All right. Started you off with a laugh already. Ball Cap Bible Study, not Bible Cap. Ball Cap Bible Study. So we leave all the mistakes in. We don't care. Uh, we're just having a good time doing a little devotional on uh, Monday mornings. Uh, these drop every Monday. That's what they call it in the YouTube business. Uh, we drop these videos on uh, Mondays, and then some of you I see uh, look at them on Wednesday or Thursday or whenever your leaders send them out. So uh, first want to apologize for how long last week was. Uh, this week will not be that long. I uh, did not intend that. I don't want these to be 20-minute uh, devotionals. I want these to be 7 to 10 minutes, something that you can consume quickly and, and hopefully enjoy. <clears throat> We're on our last... Uh, beatitude and fruit of the spirit and these really uh, put a bow on it uh, so I'm excited to go over this uh, with you this morning and kind of uh, hopefully you'll see how how everything uh, dovetails together and, and uh, aligns and is, is a parallel uh, study many scholars uh, see this I also think it's interesting that they're both out of chapter five which uh you know, when they were written, there were no chapters and verses in the Bible, but uh, let's start with a few announcements, and then we'll uh, get into the little devotional today. So I had a couple of losses uh, this week over the holiday, uh, sadly. Um, Ina Turner, many of you knew Pam Washington, and uh, Ina is Pam's mama, and she passed away uh, this this week, this last week, and her her service will be Wednesday in Bartlesville at Trinity Baptist Church. I think it's at 11 a.m. Uh, she was uh, something neat to report to you. She was the church secretary there at Trinity Baptist Church in Bartlesville for 30 years. Uh, so that's that's uh, quite a tribute, plus uh, many other things that she did. Uh, Gil was her husband, Gil and Ina Turner, and then... Um, Roy Womack, uh, somebody that um, uh, Roy and Carol have been with us uh, for a little while now, um, not not years and years, but uh, fairly recent, and bless his heart, he passed away. He had some falls, and and I think, um, you know, those falls, uh, several recently uh, took their toll. Um, a few, no few more announcements. Um, I'm going to start hitting the gym again to get uh, my... Thanksgiving celebration uh, off of me. Uh, I didn't eat too much, but it's uh, noticeable. Um, but I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. As we move into Christmas, uh, this Sunday night, uh, Sunday the 4th, um, coming up will be our uh, Christmas program, our choir celebration and, and all that. It'll be really, really neat. Um, I encourage you to come to that. Uh, we have uh, lots of things coming up. Uh, lot, this is the party season, so people will be having their class parties and, and their in-home parties. So if you want me to be aware of that, um, you know, let me know. I, I already have some calendar conflicts and I can't make uh, all of them, but that's understandable. Uh, then just so you know, I've been asked this question a lot. There will be no uh, Sunday school or connect group on December 25th or January 1st. We'll have one service at 1030 in the worship center, both of those days. So just remember that. And then we have winter Bible study coming up in, in January. Uh, that'll be fun. So uh, anyway, those are the, the big announcements. I can't, oh, um, Leisure Live Wires on the 13th uh, coming up and then Pray for the Nation on the 20th, I believe. Uh, so we definitely want to remember those. Pray, um, Pray for the Nation is important. Leisure Live Wires is going to be fun. Uh, we'll, we'll have a good time with Randy Parsons and his choir. Many of you have, have been at those and the meal is going to be outstanding. We're going to, we're going to have pot roast and glazed carrots and, um, mashed potatoes, I think salad bar. So, and a good, good dessert. And we're going to, we're going to splurge a little bit, uh, on the meal, still just $5. So, uh, come and have a great Christmas celebration time, uh, with us. Okay. Uh, that's enough for the announcements. Now let's get into the beatitude, the last beatitude, um, and this one is a little more—I um, wouldn't use the word ambiguous, but it—it's not 
blessed are these for this. You know, it's not blessed are the merciful for they shall receive mercy. So I'm just going to read it here. It's out of the New American Standard Version. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you. Right off the bat, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? Um, why do I want people to insult me and persecute me? Well, I don't really want them to, but it's going to be a natural outcome because um, we are not the world. We're not friends of the world. Um, we shouldn't, you know, try to befriend the world. Uh, you know, we should look different than the world. Uh, and people are going to listen to this. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. And this is Jesus talking. It's a capital M there. Rejoice and be glad for your reward in heaven is great. Uh, for in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So a natural outcome, because it's human nature to be sinful, a natural outcome is to be insulted, persecuted, and falsely accused for Christ. Um, wow. Remember, I heard somebody say one time when, when, when somebody or the world reaches out and, and tries to slap you or is attacking you um, because, you know, you're a Christian, uh, guess what? They are really striking out at Jesus. So just remember that. Um, now, you know what the fruit of the Spirit is for this one? So remember, it's blessed are you when pe people insult you, not if, when they insult you and persecute you and lie about you. You know what the you know what the fruit of the spirit is that aligns with this one? Self control. Wow. That 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 gives me goosebumps. Um, you know the fruit of the spirit. What what should? Um, so Jessica, our assistant, many of you know her. She's the engine uh, to to definitely to senior adult ministry, but uh, also to adult education in general at our church, but. You know, she she said something really profound um, a little while ago. We were just talking about external forces and how the world comes against us and all that. And she said, you know, if we're really filled with Christ, then when we get squeezed, Jesus ought to come out. I mean, you don't squeeze a tube of toothpaste and, and out comes, you know, a sweet potato. I mean toothpaste comes out of the tube you know it's, it's kind of like the the lady I, I, I remember the funny story of the old lady that uh, went to brush her teeth and then she's halfway through she looks down and, and it's preparation h she put on her toothbrush but the point is sorry but the point is when we get squeezed if we're really christians jesus ought to come out so that's why it says, blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me, because of Christ. Um, and, and that fruit of the spirit that aligns with that and is parallel to that is self-control. I don't think I really need to expound on that. Um, are, are we under control? Do we have self-control? Are we disciplined? Are we truly aligned with Christ? Um, Let's let's hope so. Let's let's pray that we get there. I know it's uh, it's hard for even the best of them, uh, the best of us, to to have the self control that's that's described here in the in the Bible. Uh, but remember, in Galatians, it's that spirit flesh battle going on that, that Paul's talking about, and here it's that the two worldviews, the scriptural worldview uh, and the secular worldview. Um, that, that Jesus is, is going through. So, um, all right. I told you it's going to be short. That's it. Have a great rest of your week. Love you. And we'll see you at one of our upcoming events. Um, you know what those are. And, uh, you know, whether that's a uh, leisure live wires, pray for the nation, uh, a party, uh, unfortunately, a, a funeral. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Roy Wom Womack's funeral is going to be uh, this Wednesday at. 10 a.m. at Chapel Hill uh, Funeral Home at their chapel. So um, that's all I have. Uh, we'll see you.
next week. <laughs>